today we're gonna talk about tri skates. The first time I've ever tried to, to skate three, three wheel skates was about one and a half year ago. And I started with 125 millimeter wheels. What I really enjoyed about those, like, allowed me to go through all types of surfaces. Since I had bigger wheels, I could just go on whatever I wanted to. Could even ride grass and all that stuff. But at the same time, I also really enjoyed that the, the frame was taller. Having a taller frame would allow me to, to bend my feet a lot more without the boot ever touching. So that would also help me for sliding. Later, after a few sessions skating with those, I ended up realizing that once my front wheel would get a little bit more used and the back wheel too, the skate would get slightly rockered. And then once the skate was slightly rockered, the middle wheel was working as a pivot point and that's when I really fell in love with the skates. People have different opinions about skates and some people use it as just as, as transportation, some other like to use the, the tri skates for tricks. Like of course there's different opinions about this. Good morning from Canada. I prefer four by 100 rockered inline skating frames. Why? Uh, it's a more stable, longer base. It's a little bit lower to the ground. It's very close to the boot, especially on a, on a flat heeled uh, UFS frame. Uh, I like having a little bit of a urethane age block direct, directly under my foot. Um, Tri skates, I really like the skating I've seen from, from Lino and Wobeski and some others. They make them look pretty sick, but these are from talented skaters. I'm impressed that they've won races and that it's a new way to introduce skating to people. Um, but sometimes skaters that aren't as experienced, they can appear a little bit sketchy um, because the, the, it's higher off the ground and it's shorter, so it can just look a little bit twitchy and off. Have I tried them yet? No, I haven't. I've been skating it yeah, for a year now. The moment you get the, the momentum going on them, you, it's just the big amounts of speed and you can go over any, any surface that you, that you want. Turning on the tri-wheels, yes, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's very quick. You can, make, uh, can do nice curves and uh, quick adjustments. Um, you can even if your if your wheels get worn down a little bit, you can do little little slides, um, which gi just gives you that much more flexibility, I suppose, to the anti-rocker uh, system that I grew up with. Um, that was more tricks orientated. Stopping can be a little bit of a challenge in the beginning because it's you're going much faster, so you need to keep that into consideration. But as soon as you get the groove, um, as I say, the, because you can turn quicker, you can stop quicker, you just need to practice that and get into that. But once you have it, it's, it's, it's very easy. Riding these is a whole different experience in the world of rollerblading versus just coming from like a trick background and riding a standard 55, 60 millimeter skate. Even, even compared to like a big frame or Kaiser's level one, level two, level three frames, like it's just a, it's a whole different world on these. They, uh, they open up the possibilities, whether you're skating out in the street, skating in the park. Uh, most people kind of give me some awkward looks when I ride this in the park. Uh, mainly just, it's, it's so big and they ask, you know, what are those scooter wheels? And, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely interesting to see people's reactions when you see someone on skates with wheels this big. Um, coming from just a, a a small wheel, I guess you would say, like trick or aggressive background. Like it's um, it's definitely a new learning curve, and it takes a little bit more focus and kind of a lot of a lot of practice, obviously, because of the tricks that you would perform on these or the obstacles you would normally ride are going to be anywhere from the same at a skate park to different, and you kind of have to open your eyes to see like what you're actually skating and what are the new possibilities with something of this big. Um, it's, it's exhilarating how fast you get going compared to like your traditional skate. You know, those you have to put some effort in, especially if you're riding and a rocker, it, you know, it, it takes a little bit extra work to get going. 
Whereas these, like, you know, a couple pushes and you're you're off going and like you don't realize how fast you are until like you're cruising down and you're like flying past people, objects, weaving in out obstacles or people. Um, I definitely plan to cruise my downtown areas and some areas out in Tempe, Arizona. We have a nice lakefront out there and tons of little spots to cruise with, especially the big wheels. Um, but I mean, nothing beats just going fast. And you know, one of the things, you know, for people who know me and my skating, I like to go fast, I like to go big. Well, ironically, I get to go big, just in a different way. <laughs> um, but it, it, it keeps the roller biting alive in me, you know, I'm, I'm not, as young or as limber as I used to be, so like this is a new form and a new way to express my skating and how to keep, you know, keep wheels under my feet and not kind of get get burnt out. I guess you would say. Cause, you know, a lot of people are quitting nowadays. Um, it's uh, it keeps it interesting, but you know, well, some people's perspective of these are di very different. And a lot of people don't like them because you can't do tricks in them. Well, I mean, I've seen people do tricks in these, and I, I don't, I don't, I don't doubt one minute that someone else wouldn't try it. It's just some people are very scared or skeptical because you know they don't look like the traditional aggressive skate. They're they're different, and for me, for me, different's good because I like to I like to have fun, and it keeps wheels under my feet doing what I like to do. So, Senor Lino asked me about my opinion about the tri skates. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna try to talk about it. Uh, the tri skates, I think, is pretty cool. Um, some people have like uh, road bikes, you know, go really fast. Some people have those long boards to cruise around. Some people have those electric things that just jump on it and just take you around. I don't know how to name it. There's, there's, Sage ways, I don't know, those things. Uh, so there's many things out there. Uh, yeah, so why not enjoying a healthy hundred and something billion millimeter wheels under your feet, right? And just cruise around and, you know, it's healthy and fun, you know? Why, why, have, a, why have a negative opinion about something so cool that it might feel like, you know, cruising up in the moon, you know, <laughs> just go out there, have some fun, go skating, uh, get hash, get, go out there, get some fun in your skates, you know, and enjoy your time in planet Earth, you know, enjoy it. I tried to try the, the three wheels out for a while, and when I first put them on, I felt like I went a lot faster, and there was um, less, uh, hooking up on the ground um, you can go over terrain that is not very pleasurable to go over on street skates obviously or even yeah it, it can go over rougher ground in 80s uh, without feeling um, really uncomfortable I think yeah you're gonna hang up less on wheels like that and just generally really really good for transport um, but for you still 480s instead of um, yeah, I'm open-minded. I, I think I like 480s. I didn't really skate good quality gear my whole life until you gave me some really nice skates. But yeah, I like 80 millimeters, and I like the—I just like the responsiveness of 80 millimeter wheels. And I don't know. I suppose there's a reason they are the traditional standard. For me, it just came in the right time, as I've been skating for way too long, and I—I I don't remember of trying something that I felt so excited about. Since then I've tried different wheel sizes from 100s to 110s, 125s. I even mixed some prototype 120 wheels with 125s. I've tried different millimeter wheels like, I don't know, like I even tried some stone grinded wheels. But I ended up realizing that for me, that 125 it's the best. Why is the 125 the best for me? I'm tall. And being told the 125 for me would be about the same as for some shorter guys, some 110s. So, I don't know, I think it, 
It has to do with taste, of course. I have big foot and I want to be able to bend my foot without my boots touching the floor. So I think that's why I choose the 125s. But at the same time, depending on the type of skating that I'm doing, every now and then I still go 110. If I want to go for downhill skating, I think I'd rather the 110 than other than the, 20, the 125 because it makes it easier to turn somehow. Or it makes me having the, the boot lower somehow makes me feel that I have more control. But then that also changes with the frame system that you have. Right now, lately, I've been skating a lot more with the, with the Trinity skates from Powerspot. I have the Cassis and I have the Taos. I'm really in love with the Cassis skate because I'm skating 125, but at the same time, I feel like I have the control of a 110 skate. But then there's different, different skates. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you different types of tri skates. These are just some kits tri skate so these ones go from like size European 30 or European 27 all the way to 30, 34, 35, something like that. These are three wheel skates. Why would this be good for a kid, man? The exact same thing. Having a middle wheel working as a pivot point will make it easier for them to turn. Making it easier for them to turn would also make it easier for them to stop because when you stop usually you need to move your feet if you move your feet you're turning if you're turning easier then makes it easier to stop it's basic it's just a basic concept but that's of course my opinion okay so here you also have three different wheel sizes you got the 100s these are the the polished light swell 100 millimeter skates and here this is the one i've been skating lately um these are the Kazes with the Trinity frame 110 millimeter wheels and then here the Swells 125s. Like I said before, of course it has to do with the style of skating, with of course if you're tall or if you're short it would also make a difference, but in the end it's all like a question of preference. The main thing is big wheels will allow you to go faster but it's harder to accelerate you'll need more time to get to the same speed if you don't have the the right skill at first will will be a little bit harder for you to stop but like i said also before once the middle wheel will be down in the floor the skate will get a lot more nervous and that will make it a lot easier to stop to turn and even to slide Talking about sliding, why do I like this skate so much? Well, I used to shuffle back in the day a lot, but I wasn't really into free skating. I got into free skating more with these tri skates. And I think the reason why I started doing it is because once you have three wheels, there's less surface touching the floor. It's just only three wheels touching the floor. And that made it easier for me to start sliding. If you're taller, you can also bend your foot a lot more without the boot touching. We all know like if the boot is plastic and if the boot touches the floor, then you're gonna fall. So you also want it to be a little bit higher when you're learning how to slide. So you can just feel more confident about bending your foot without the boot touching. I think that's one of the main reasons why I, I first started sliding with this and now that I'm just addicted like you can do all types of slides and yes now that I'm more used to it I admit that it's, it's wheels like in between 100 and 110s it's easier to slide than the 125s but at the same time the 125s allow you to bench your foot more so you know that the boot will never touch again it's preference my opinion 125s my favorite setup I still ride these ones depending on what I'm doing. I still use it a lot for, if I'm going downhill, I'd rather the, the 110s than the 125s. And this is the ones I've been skating lately. So probably in one year, if I'm gonna be talking about tri skates, my opinion will be a little bit different. Right now I have one and a half year of tri skates and I don't plan on stopping. That's it, that's what I got for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. By the way, I know how to spell tri skates. I know it spells like this, I know that's how you say it, with an I instead of a Y, but what I want you to, what I want to tell you is that why don't you try skates, that's what I think you should do right now, go out, try skates, it doesn't need to be try skates, just try skates, put your skates on and just go. Vou viver até quando eu...